Valley Plus Triton V2. It's one of the slightly less popular clones on AliExpress. A lot less sales and you see a little less often than uh, some things like the Kraken, the Falcon, um, the Alien, things like that. The Nautilus clones are a lot more popular. But I still don't think you should uh, instantly disregard these because they're not that bad for the price. They come in at around $40, I'd say, similar to all the other clones. Um, very similar specs, you know, bushings, uh, same configurations with um, 6061 aluminum handles. The standard colors, silver, blue, red, black, uh, and then inked options for the blades, depending on the seller. Pretty standard clone. Uh, I'll just go over and give my opinions on it. The design. Now, Valley Plus have got it pretty damn near close to the Triton V2 by Squid Industries on this one. I'd say, apart from maybe the screws being one-sided like this, it is very similar. Obviously, you have the Valley Plus logo. I can show you that on the blade, where the Squid Industries logo would be, that's good. At least they're not trying to use the Squid Industries logo. The four milling pattern, uh, what do you call it, milling lines down the sides, very similar. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this, to be honest. It's very simplistic, and while I do like the simplistic uh, design aspects of, let's say, something like the, uh, the Prisma or the um, or the squid trainer. Oh, this doesn't quite have that, like, you know, it's, n it's not a classic design like the squid trainer is. Really, um, the design on this feels a little bit, uh, not rushed, but like they didn't really care all that much. They just thought, yeah, we'll take the V1, we'll do some lines in because people were complaining about the grip. Now, the blade's a little more interesting, but overall, not that much more imaginative than the squid trainer very similar obviously you just have this bit here and the slightly and you know the uh, more tanto style of uh blade at the end overall not a huge fan of the design of this i'd say it's pretty much bang on around average uh, in terms of colors you just get the very standard um silver blue red and black and then obviously the inked blade, it can get an inked blade as well. But um, that depends on the seller and sometimes you have to pay more for that. But really, I can't talk too much about the design because it's just so bloody simplistic. Um, I'd have to give it probably a five. It's pretty damn near average. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's not bad design, it looks quite nice, but it's, it's, it's pretty average. So I'm gonna give it a five for design. Our tolerances. We've got no tap. A little bit of play, but not too much. Not too bad, to be honest. Um, uh, one thing I will say, and I kind of getting to expect this from Bally Plus now. This is undersized bushings. One of the bushings is undersized. Now I could, if I had replacement hardware, probably replace it out, and it would all be fine. Uh, this is just being lent to me though, so I don't have the replacement hardware for it. But I'm losing hope at Bally Plus, to be honest. Like, if all your bushings, if all your knives are going to come with undersized bushings, like, what's the point? Because people are just going to have to, people are just going to complain. If they're oversized, at least people can fix them and then they're less likely to complain. But you're just giving people undersized bushings. Surely it's not that hard to, I don't know, maybe even if you're ordering size up i'm not quite sure what the standard is and what the uh, tolerance levels from the manufacturer they buy it from is so i'm sure they don't machine their bushings themselves they probably buy them in but um surely they can do a better job than that the one doesn't seem to have this problem the one very rarely gives undersized bushings if anything they're more likely to be oversized but at least they're fixable but other than that tolerances are pretty damn solid um can't complain too much here no tap. I did have to tighten that down a little bit because it did get tap after a little while, but you know, if you're willing to tighten down the screws every four or five days, or if you just put some Loctite in it, that'll fix all your problems. So, 
pretty pretty average tuning experience. Um, nothing exceptional, but considering it's a clone and it has no tap, I'm gonna give it slightly above average because let's be honest, a lot of clones do have tap straight out of the box. Um, even with the undersized bushing, I'm still gonna give it a, a six because, you know, it works, it's fixable if you had the spare hardware, which I don't, but you would if you bought it, so <laughs> a six, yeah. Now for flipping. So, In the way that this flips, it reminds me a lot of like a baby squid trainer. It's like a squid trainer light, I'm gonna say. It's got that very similar balance. It's somewhat neutral, in fact, it's quite neutral. Um, fans really well. And it's got very good grip because of the, you can see the, the milling lines, quite sharp actually. It does somewhat, uh, make your hands sore if you're flipping for too long just because of how sharp these are but it does provide a hell of a lot of grip you know if I do if I do these uh, reverse chokers I have no problem in reversing the choker because I've got loads of grip on that yeah so in terms of grip very good actually surprised me uh, it's a little light a lot lighter than the squid trainer but um, yeah I'm still saying baby squid trainer that's what this is now, Chaplin's not so good at. I think it tends to lose, tends to come flying off after a little while. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't come flying off for this video because I don't wanna smash anything in my room. But um, it's not, not, got, not the best of Chaplin's. And I think that's just because it's so light and the neutral balance kind of, um, you know, make it a little unpredictable. But for rollovers, for fans, even for ladders, it's very, um, pretty standard flipping. It's quite good, to be honest. I just dropped it, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it for flipping, pretty average. For that grip, just a slight bit more, so I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 for flipping. Now sound. Sounds not that impressive, to be honest. Um, it's got an undersized bushing in here, so the vibrations aren't that great. Pretty disappointing, to be honest, in terms of sound, but I guess it's Baddy Plus, so what can you expect, right? Now, I'm inclined to give this a slightly lower than average because it doesn't even have that much vibration. It doesn't have any of the rings, doesn't really have any of the satisfying sounds or feelings to it pretty disappointing if I'm honest. Um, I think for sound, it's gonna have to get a lower than average score. A three is probably what I'm thinking for this. It's just really not that impressive. Nothing to write home about. And for the price, this comes in at around $40, tax and shipping on top of that. For a very similar price, you can get things like the Falcon, the Falcon, the Alien, the Kraken clones, both from B Plus and from uh, Arm Shark battle songs that you know I enjoy a lot more. If I'm honest, there are better options out there for forty dollars. Things like the, the the Falcon, things like the Alien, they got a lot better. You know, they've got a lot more personality, they flip better, they sound better, uh, they've got better tolerances, you're less likely to get undersized bushings, all for the same price. Things like the Arm Shark, um, Arm Shark Kraken, you get better colorways, it's a bit more interesting, looks better in my opinion at least. Um, I think for $40 there's definitely better options out there, so um, I can't recommend this. It's not bad, 
you know, if you really like the Triton design for whatever reason, sure, go ahead and get it. Um, although I would suggest you also look into the Arm Shark Triton because they have a lot more colours, things like purple, things like um, that kind of cyan colour, that blue, looks really good. Um, they got dual tone as well. So I think if you're looking for a Triton V2, maybe consider, instead of getting a Bally Plus, get an Arm Shark. <laughs> Likely going to get better tolerances as well. So yeah, it's not bad, but really, you know, pretty damn average. Um, this this Balsam has been very average all round. I'm inclined to give it a five. Leave it in the middle. It's not bad for the price, uh, but it's definitely not good. Just kind of what you'd expect, to be honest. So thanks for watching. Um, I tried with a little bit more B-roll in this video. So tell me if you like that. I promise I will get better. As for the flipping clips, um, chances are I'll probably be getting a GoPro soon. So they'll be a little better in the future. It's a little hard to film whilst also flipping, especially with a phone camera. Like I've talked before, always drop that. But yeah. Um, next video will likely be on the Baddy Plus Kraken. I've got to talk about that in the future. Uh, chances are I'll be very similar to this, to be honest. Um, some surprise battle songs, which you might have seen uh, if you follow my Instagram. You might have seen uh, that in the works, as well as some people have requested like, other flipping videos, things like that. Um, but yeah, if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments as always. I will get round to them. So thank you.